Imagine a time when there was only one giant landmass on Earth. This wasn't just any landmass, it was a supercontinent called Pangaea. All the continents we know today were once squashed together like puzzle pieces. Pangaea was surrounded by a vast singular ocean called Panthalassa. This was our planet millions of years ago. Then something incredible happened. This massive landmass began to break apart. This process, called continental drift, is how our planet evolved into the world we see today. It's hard to imagine that our familiar continents were once arranged so differently. But the evidence is there, hidden in the rocks and fossils scattered across the globe. In the grand story of Earth, continental drift is a tale of constant change and remarkable transformations. To understand continental drift, we need to look beneath the surface. The Earth's outer layer, called the lithosphere, is not one solid piece. It's broken up into several large and small pieces called tectonic plates. Think of these plates as giant puzzle pieces that fit together to form the Earth's outer shell. These tectonic plates aren't static. They're constantly moving and shifting. They move very slowly, only a few centimeters each year. But over millions of years, this tiny movement adds up to create massive changes in the Earth's geography. These movements are responsible for earthquakes, volcanoes, and the formation of mountain ranges. They are also the driving force behind the phenomenon of continental drift. What makes these tectonic plates move? The answer lies deep within the earth in a layer called the mantle. The mantle is a thick layer of hot, molten rock that lies between the earth's crust and its core. The intense heat within the earth's core creates convection currents in the mantle. Hotter material rises from the core while cooler material sinks. Imagine a lava lamp where the blobs of wax rise and fall as they are heated and cooled. The mantle's convection currents work in a similar way. These convection currents act like giant conveyor belts, dragging the tectonic plates along with them. This continuous movement is the engine that drives continental drift. Around 200 million years ago, something remarkable began to happen. The supercontinent Pangaea, which had existed for millions of years, started to break apart. This wasn't a sudden cataclysmic event, but a slow, gradual process driven by the relentless forces of plate tectonics. As the tectonic plates beneath Pangaea continued to move and shift, driven by the mantle's convection currents, immense pressure built up along the supercontinent's edges. This pressure eventually became too great and cracks began to appear in the Earth's crust. These cracks, known as rift zones, widened and deepened over time, eventually becoming the boundaries between new tectonic plates. As these plates moved apart, magma from the mantle rose up to fill the gaps, creating new crust and pushing the continents further apart. Section 5, a world transformed, oceans emerge. As Pangaea continued to break apart, the landscape of our planet underwent a dramatic transformation. The rift zones that had initially formed as cracks in the Earth's crust widened into vast depressions. Seawater from the surrounding Panthalassa Ocean flooded into these depressions, creating new seas and oceans. This process of ocean formation was gradual, taking millions of years. As the continents drifted further apart, the newly formed oceans grew wider and deeper. The Atlantic Ocean, for instance, began as a narrow rift valley between the Americas and Africa and Europe. Over millions of years, as the continents continued their slow drift, the Atlantic Ocean expanded to become the vast body of water we know today. This process of continental drift and ocean formation continues to shape our planet's geography. Section 6 Climate in Flux, a Changing World the breakup of Pangaea and the subsequent continental drift had a profound impact not only on the Earth's geography, but also on its climate. When the continents were joined as Pangaea, the climate was more uniform. Large landmasses tend to have more extreme climates, with hot interiors and cooler coasts. As the continents drifted apart, however, new ocean currents formed, influencing global weather patterns. Ocean currents act like giant conveyor belts, distributing heat from the tropics to the poles. The separation of the continents altered these currents, leading to more diverse climates. Regions that were once located near the equator experienced cooler temperatures as they drifted towards the poles. 
Conversely, areas that were once situated closer to the poles warmed as they moved towards the equator. These climatic shifts had a significant impact on the evolution of life on Earth. Section 7. Life finds a way. Evolution after Pangaea. The breakup of Pangaea and the subsequent continental drift had a profound impact on the evolution of life on Earth. When the continents were joined as Pangaea, organisms could migrate freely across vast distances. This led to a relatively homogeneous distribution of species across the supercontinent. However, as the continents drifted apart, populations of plants and animals became isolated from each other. This isolation, combined with the changing climatic conditions, created new evolutionary pressures. Species had to adapt to their new environments or face extinction. Over millions of years, this process of isolation and adaptation led to the evolution of new and diverse species. The unique flora and fauna of different continents, from the rainforests of South America to the savannas of Africa, are a testament to the powerful influence of continental drift on the evolution of life. Section 8. Drifting into the future. The continents are still drifting today, although at a pace too slow for us to notice in our lifetimes. The Atlantic Ocean is widening while the Pacific Ocean is shrinking as the Americas move westward. The Himalayas, the world's highest mountain range, continue to grow as the Indian subcontinent pushes against Asia. Scientists use various techniques, including GPS and satellite measurements, to track the movements of the continents. These measurements show that the Earth's tectonic plates are constantly on the move, reshaping our planet's surface over millions of years. While we can't predict with certainty what the future holds for our planet's geography, one thing is clear. Continental drift is an ongoing process that will continue to shape the Earth for millions of years to come. Section 9. A never-ending story. The continent's fate. The story of continental drift is a reminder that our planet is a dynamic and ever-changing system. The continents we know today are not fixed entities, but rather transient land masses that have been on the move for billions of years. As we look to the future, it's fascinating to ponder the ultimate fate of the continents. Will they continue to drift apart, eventually dispersing across the globe? Or will they collide once again, forming a new supercontinent millions of years from now? While we can't predict the future with certainty, the study of continental drift provides us with a glimpse into the powerful forces that have shaped our planet and continue to do so today. It's a reminder that Earth's story is still being written, and the continents are some of its most dramatic characters. <laughs>